I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymn. Throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. What is up guys, in today's video we will be doing a guide on the new updated Blast Furnace and in order to get to the Blast Furnace you need to do the Giant Dwarf Quest and also the Blast Furnace world we will be using is 352, that is one of the Blast Furnace worlds and that is the world you need to use. I think there is one more right here. Those are the worlds you need to use in order to use the Blast Furnace with the NPCs. So if you do not know how to get there, follow my path, I will speed it up. So the reason why this is an updated guide is because this guy right here, Numpty, is new and this guy over here, Thumpy, is new before someone had to repair them themselves. All these NPCs were here before, but these new NPCs are new and also the coffer, you have to pay 72k an hour and that is regardless if you are here moving around or if you're still, if you stand still, the coffer still counts down. The only way it stops is if you log out, so make sure you take advantage of it and use the full hour to your advantage. And if you do not know how to do a load, we are going to be doing steel bars and mithril bars to see the profit because those are the two that I think are the most commonly used. I do not have a coal bag or ice gloves because I cannot be bothered to get 50 mining right now. And the thing I'm going to be using instead of ice gloves is a bucket of water. So run up here with your coal and your bucket of water. Click right here. I did not put money in the coffer. I'll be right back. So now I have put, oh my gosh, I grabbed two buckets. Oh, well, so put your coal on here, or just click it, I mean, click put ore on, and then run over here to the bank, and use the bank chest, and then grab your iron ore if you're doing steel bars. Just a reminder, don't have two of these, just have one, and then you'll get 27 bars. So put these on, and then run down here, and while they're being made, click your bucket of water, and then when you see that, use it on it and then click here click all the steel bars and then run over here use the bank and repeat the process and the advantage of the blast furnace is that it is only it cuts the amount of coal that you need per bar in half so for steel bars you just need one coal instead of two and then for mithril bars you just need two coal instead of one so for mithril bars you will do this, you'll put the coal in, and then instead of putting iron ore, you'll have to put the coal again, and then after that, then you can put the mithril in. Alright, let's start with the steel bars. So this is me narrating real quick. I did about a minute of it, film for you guys just so you can kind of see how it is. And then after this, it's going to be like the last eight minutes of me doing it. So there's about um, eight and a half minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and record the rest of this and then just speed it up so you guys can see it. Because right now I have the XP here, but I know it's going to be off. So after this, I'm going to have to kind of figure out exactly what the XP is. Because it kind of got messed up because I don't know how, but somehow the XP got messed up. So I got to figure that out. So I'll be back in about seven minutes. So, so just watch me do this.
Okay, this is going to be my last inventory. Two seconds left. Made it just in time. Alright, so now we will take out all the coal. I'm going to go, or not all the coal, we're going to take out all the steel bars. I'm going to go ahead and do some math, and I'll be right back and tell you guys how much money we made doing the steel bars. Alright, it is time to do some numbers. So in one hour, I managed to make 2,518 bars, and I think that's a little slow. But remember, I'm using a bucket of water, and I do not have a coal bag, so it takes a little bit longer to do it. So I'm going to remove these, and the cost that I spent, this is what I used to make them. So about 814k plus the 72k that it costs per hour. So I'm going to put the 814k plus 72k. So I'm going to write this down here so we remember. So that's what we spent. Now let's see what we made again. So we made 1128000. So we're going to minus the 886000. So 242k. So now keep in mind if you have the coal bag and you have the ice gloves, it's going to be significantly better. I would times this by two at minimum. So you're going to be making about 500k profit. Right now, the bars sell for, I think, like 141 profit, which is really low. Normally, they're almost 300 profit per bar. I don't know why coal and iron are really high right now, and steel bars are really low. But anyways, it's still good profit. And the smithing XP we have is messed up. So it says I gained 37.9k, but I missed some of the XP because the XP tracker was not working properly. So it's about 40k XP an hour when you use no ice gloves and when you use a bucket of water. We are now going to do the mithril bars. The XP tracker is not working. I think it's because there was an update the other day. So I think that's why it didn't work earlier. But I will put the money in the coffer and I will record probably like the first 10 minutes and then record anything significant that happens. Like I might get a smithing level during this, but I don't want you guys to watch an hour of me. So I'll do 10 minutes at least. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am almost done with, okay, there's the 10 minutes. And as you guys can tell, I am kind of trash at doing this. I messed up a bunch of times. I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. But I think it's because I had a bunch of mithril ore in there, and I thought I had too many coal, but I actually had, or no, wait, I thought I didn't have enough mithril ore in there, but I actually had too many. So that's why I kept messing up. But anyways, and also I looked at the, the tracker, and all of a sudden it's working. I don't know what the heck is going on. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this hour. Um, I should probably get a smithing level, so I'll try to catch that on film, so about 10k XP, so that should be pretty soon, so I'll try to catch that for you guys, and I'll be back when the hour is over. So there's about 10 minutes left, and I'm going to record this last 10 minutes just so you guys can see me do it, and I'll be back when it's done, and then I will do some numbers and show you guys how much money we made doing the mithril ore compared to the steel ore.
my god, I am inefficient. Got about a minute left, and I fucked up. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get another one in. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it there and do some numbers. All right, so now we'll do some numbers. So I was able to smith 1,747 in one hour. Again, that's probably relatively slow because I mess up a lot, but I'm just doing this to test this out real quick. So I made 1,397,600, and this is the supplies I used. So I spent 1,160,224. So the total minus all of these is 237k376. If you use the coal bag and the ice gloves, you can probably make approximately 500k to 600k an hour. And if you're really efficient, you can make even more. I was able to get about 55k experience per hour based off the one hour that I did doing the mithril bars. Right now, the bars are selling for a 207 GP profit compared to the supplies needed. Overall, I would rather do the mithril bars as you get more XP. You do not get as much GP, but the XP, I think, is worth it. Again, this guide was not based on efficiency. It was just to test out how Thumpy and Numpty help, and it did make it pretty quick. However, you do have to pay 72k, so you do lose a little bit of money compared to the old Blast Furnace. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helps. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for my next video.